morning and welcome to a thought for the day once again. The little heading I simply give this morning is a triple blessing, a triple blessing. Revelation chapter 22 and 3 to 4 says this, His servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Here we have another great blessing for those who know Jesus as their Saviour and love him as their Saviour. You see, often when a rich relative passes away, they will leave between the children an equal part of the estate. But can I say this morning that when Jesus died and when he rose again, he didn't leave any of his children a part of the estate. He left them all of it. All that Christ is, is mine this morning and all that Christ is is yours this morning if you love him and if you know him as Saviour and Lord. Isn't that wonderful? All the power, all the benefits of heaven is yours as an individual. Not shared between anyone but given to each and every one of us. All that Christ is is yours today. Surely you must feel confident to face the day that lies before you with such great news ringing in your ears. But it doesn't stop there. You see, our text says that there are three blessings waiting for us when we go to heaven. It says, his servants shall serve him. No other Lord will oppress us. No other service will distress us. We will finally serve our Lord in a perfect way. Without weariness, without error, this will truly be heaven, friends, to the saint who loves Christ, to be able to serve the one who gave his all for us and to serve him in a way that is pleasing to him. But while we wait here on earth, let us serve him to the very best of our ability that we can hear. Let us practice our service until we get to heaven to perfect our service. Let's please God in our service for him. The second blessing that we are told is this, that we shall see his face. And that will make all the service of the way worth it all. That will make all the difficulty that we have experienced on earth worth it all. What a wonderful saviour. We will know him. And when we see him face to face, the songwriter puts it like this, Face to face shall I behold him, far beyond the starry sky. Face to face, in all his glory, I will see him by and by. And God's word not only says that we shall see him, but it goes on to say that when we see him, we will be like him. Oh, to be like thee. Oh, to be like the blessed Lord Jesus, pure as thou art. We are going to be like Jesus. What a wonderful blessing that will be for you and for me. And what a great reward is yours today. If only you can remain faithful to him here on earth. He will be faithful to you there in heaven. But there is a third blessing for the text says, And his name shall be on their foreheads. We will gaze upon the Lord until his name is photographed upon our very brows. Because we've acknowledged him, he will acknowledge us. And we will show the very image of God. Or that God will enable us to joy the begin, uh, to begin to serve him here while on earth. I'm glad, friends, that as Christians, we are not waiting for eternal life. Eternal life is already born within us. We are ready to go to eternity. Our life will continue out of time and into eternity. God help our service to be the same. God help us to show his image upon our lives as we live here in this world that men and women will see Jesus in us. They will see him here in our lives on earth and then receive the fullness of these blessings when we all get to heaven. Oh, what, what's the song say? When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. May this triple blessing be yours today. May God bless you and encourage you. And I'll be speaking to you again tomorrow morning. God bless.